Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in this video, I am going to show you how to get list of files and directory in a given folder using Python. There are multiple ways to do that. In this tutorial, we will see example using list directory method in detail and will continue with walk method in my next video. So let's get started. When we want list of files or directory from the given folder, then we'll use list directory method. This method will ignore the subdirectories. If you want to list all subdirectories as well, use walk method which I have explained in my next video. Link is available at top right corner. So let's see list directory method in this video. As you can see, it takes path of the directory as a parameter and returns the list of files and directories. First step is to import OS module. So I can write import OS. Then let's declare one variable. Let's say folder path. And we'll set it to empty now. This will be the folder path from where we need to read all files and directories. Next step is calling our list directory method by passing our folder path variable. So I can write OS dot list directory. And here we need to pass folder path. It will return us the list of files and directories. Let's save that in some result variable. So I can write result equals to. Before running the code, let me add the folder path value. So I can paste it here. I have put two backslash to avoid escape character issue. You can either use same or add prefix to string with r which is considered as raw string. Now we can print the result and see what we have got. So let me type print and result. Let me save this and try to run. You can see the output result showing all files and directory in the given path. Let's validate with file explorer. Result looks good. Now let's add little bit more to it. Suppose we want files and directories separately. We can do it by adding some conditional check. Either you can iterate over same result variable which has all list or call list directory method in for loop itself. I will combine with for loop. So let me comment this line and write for result in os dot list directory method and we need to pass folder path. It will give same result as we have done earlier. Now let's suppose I want only files to be printed. I can use is file method. So first step is to join our folder path and result with join method. So I can write os dot path dot join and we'll have folder path and result. This will give us the absolute path with file name. Then add conditional check for file. So I can write if os dot path dot is file. And here we need to pass join as a parameter. It will be if it first get the absolute path with file name and check if it is file or not. If this condition is satisfied, then it is a file. So I can write print. Let's say file and we'll print result here. Let's run and see the output. Now you can see only file is printed. Next similar condition can be added for directory check. So I can copy the same code. So let me copy this and let me paste it here and we'll use is directory method. So it will be dot is directory and here we can write directory and everything will be same. If this condition is true, then it is a directory and if this condition is true, then it is a file. Let me save and try to run. So the output is correct. So we got both file and directory. Suppose you want only a specific file like text file 
then conditional check can be further added. If result ends with dot txt, then do something. In our case, we just print the result. So let me add this. If result dot ends with and here I can write dot txt. Then it is a text file. So I can write print text file and here it will be string result. Let's give a run. Output is correct which print text file. You can combine this check with first if condition as well or keep it separately. Let me comment this for now. This logic can be further optimized with generator expression. You can write your code with generator and paste it in a comment section. It is always good practice to create function and call that function with required parameters. The function should return us the expected output. Let me create that function and show you. Now you can see I have created get files and directory list function which takes folder path as a parameter and has two separate list one for files and other for directories. Based on conditional check output is appended in the both list. And finally the both list is written from the function. And here I am calling this function and printing the output. Let me give a last run. Now you can see both file list and directory list is separated. This is always recommended way to write code in same approach. That's it for this video. I hope you find this video useful. In my next video we'll see walk method which can read from all subdirectories as well. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon. Leave me a comment if you have any queries or suggestion. Thank you for watching. See you next time.